Hello everyone, it's Supersonic Blue here, and welcome back to another GTA San Andreas 100% uh, activity guide here on the channel. So today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the paramedic missions. So there's three um, emergency service missions, as you know, there are the firefighter one, which we've already done, the paramedic one, which we're going to do now, and then there is the vigilante one as well, which we've not done yet. So for the paramedic one, you want to head to this location, which is Angel Pine. This is the first area we go to um, when we uh, go back into the countryside, where we're back into, where we're in the countryside for the first time, should I say? Uh, and basically, uh, the reason you want to head to this location in particular is because all your patients will be just in this location. If you go into a city like Los Santos, San Fierro, Las Vachuras, you'll be got sent all over the place. Whereas here, you're just confined to this one little area, or at least it was um, when the uh, when the games first came out. I don't know if it's changed since. It shouldn't have done, but. Who knows at the moment? Um, so basically, the rewards you're going to get for doing this mission is five thousand dollars, and you're going to get max health. Now, I'm virtually at full health because obviously I've been playing the game and getting collectibles and stuff like that. So I've naturally been getting it. I'm virtually there. But if you've got quite low ha uh, low health or it's not got to a stage where it's quite high, this is how you're going to do it. Now you have to do it for the act for the hundred percent. Um, completion so basically you just get it from this location it's opposite the motel where you met truth and yeah let's get cracking so everything should be in this location don't crash it or roll it or whatever now this should be interesting because I don't know how I'm gonna do with the rain because if it because obviously it's raining and once it starts getting pitch black this is where where it's going to be an absolute struggle but you get rewards the same but you got the 12 levels don't kill anybody if you can help it don't crash it just take your time uh, you can get two people in the back and one as a side passenger um, times will go up as you um, yeah, as you keep going, but this shouldn't be too long. I always uh, like to. The only th issue you got here, though, is you haven't got anywhere to repair your vehicle. That is the only thing. So if you start to cause a load of damage to it, uh, that you, you're going to start to struggle. I believe you can only get time bonuses for. Um, Th three people, I think. And then obviously once you get there. This is just about as far out as it'll go. And obviously, don't run over your patients either. But yeah, you get... You know, you, you get your time boost. Your time boost is, is only going to be small. Because you're in a small area. If you go and do it in the city and you want to challenge, you will get longer. Um, for completing them. I can't remember how long it is. Now here, this is where you're going to want to start to um, decide on how you're getting your patients when uh, they get to more than three people. So I'm going to get these two together. Go back and get there and get the other two. You're going to have to start grouping them to, where, to, to who you want to pick up. Now that's a house I own there. So this is just, just something that I prefer to do. Why can't I? Are you kidding? Okay, you used to, you used to only be able to you could be able to pick up certain amounts of people, but for some reason you can't do that. So, which is just nonsense because there was no red marker. I was going, oh, that's why I was confused. Thought I went the wrong way, but I didn't. So okay, so it's changed ever so slightly. Once it's rescued them, it doesn't really matter if you accidentally run them over. Because, um... At the end of the day, she'll be fine. 
Okay, you still get other time. I think it's the bonus time. Or is it the bonus? I don't know. We'll see in a minute when I... Uh, they might change the mission up slightly to make it a bit easier for people to do. There's another person there. I always try, wherever I want the patients to go, I will position myself so they don't have to travel as far to get to you. So this is going in the back, so usually I would go further forward, but he started moving, so I was like, I'll just let you uh, get in first. So we're going to be doing some side activities. Um, so by the time that this has come out, I have done the 20 more oysters, so 30 in total. A couple of the oysters were a bit difficult to get to because they involved going into the army, but uh, into the yeah, into, uh, it's not a national. Uh, depot base, but it's also not an army base. There was two in that location. You will get shot. You will, you know, there's there's no question about it. You will get shot, and they will more than likely kill you because that's what they. Because I currently don't have any weapons because I wanted to get those done first and the activities. Because then I can, I can plan then on how I'm going to do the activities with the collectibles. So the collectibles are going to collect, and activities are going to go out the same day. Um, obviously, so there's going to be 10 oysters and um, some um, some collectibles. Tell me you don't want to go out. You guys who are wondering, I'm just watching my cat. She keeps hovering around me. She's been a little bit on the uh, lonely side the last few days. So she's sort of hovering around here at the moment. Oh shit, don't go on there. Huh. I don't want to knock in my glass off. I've got a pint of cordial on my bloody uh, table. I don't want to knock it all over. Yeah, so she's gone under my bed now. I know it's probably something you don't want to hear, but I'm just keeping a close eye on her. Let's see where she's going. Okay, she's laying on my floor now. Okay, so that's panic over. I had put a um, cat video up on her from on YouTube. I think she's uh, got bored of it now. Literally got it on the full screen, and there's um, there's fish swimming round on screen. It's only been on about twenty minutes. <laughs> bored of it already. Yeah, it's it's easy enough to do. How long's the rain been gone? I've not even noticed them. Yeah, so like I said, once you've delivered them, oh bloody hell! This is not okay. It's gone off straight away. Okay. I was wondering how... Please don't bloody hell! Patience made of stone? Mm. 
of a patience there. Okay. So a lot of these side quests are going to be like asset missions and courier missions and things like that. It, they're all going to have money involved in them. So... It's not going to be all that bad. Because we need the spawn early at the moment. Because later on in the game, there is a, there's like a showroom that we end up buying and it's quite, a, I think it's like a hundred and thirty thousand dollars or something like that and obviously you get missions for thingy but you can't advance that part of the story until you've bought the showroom it also involves the um... it also involves the um... driving school as well that'll be coming pretty up close into the story next Oh, um, there's something to look forward to. Like I said, don't rush. I mean, I'm not ru exactly rushing, but, you know. Like I said, you used to be able to do this where you could, I think the first time, you weren't able to do it like the first time past it but if you decided to do it again you want to borrow money you'd be able to do it uh, the second time I just keep leveling up and doing more and more and more and more and more just getting more and more money unless they've taken that out I don't know because it was like a really easy way to earn money especially the uh, vigilante ones if uh, you because obviously the sheets in this game now you I'm not using cheats in this game because it will avoid the trophies and because I'm going for the platinum I'm not using cheats. These are just ways that will make where you're going in that thing make it a lot easier no that one didn't even get out are you kidding? I've still got one in. She didn't even get out. I bet I've got. I can't. Because the marker's gone, I can't drop her off either. I hope this hasn't glitched now. It did have a bit a weird glitch before where it was like it was really, really slow the gameplay and it kept like crackling in areas. Now. The issue is, I think it actually did happen in the original Definitive Edition. I seem to remember it doing it, and it's if the game has been on for a like a long time. Like usually, like if so back in the day, that I used to play that play this all the time, and it was like I'd be playing it for eight, ten hours, but it would like it would glitch out and go dead slow, and you'd have to basically re restart the game again. It was it was annoying more annoying though if you were in the middle of a mission, and because it was obviously in, the, in these games there's checkpoints, but um, in the older games there weren't. So it's it's like oh it was proper annoying. But yeah, like I said. All your patients are in this area. So, you know, it, it's just uh, so much better. I mean, we're doing okay, we're not smoking yet, thankfully. Please, do not kill my frigging guy. So, the next three patients, one there, one there, and one there, great. So, 
So I guess that your earlier levels are going to be harder to do because um, you've not got that much time. But once you start getting your patience, I just bore of them. Yeah, you, you, the time's just going to accumulate. So like that, we're like over two minutes, and um, time's just going to keep extending as we pick them up. We've had two, nearly two and a half minutes. We've gone from just under two minutes to, to just under two and a half minutes in about ten seconds of picking people up. Okay, we got an older. Oh no, wait, it's resets itself. I just saw that. I didn't actually realise it resetted itself, so. Uh, see, this is where I start to worry slightly because obviously we're at level 10. I don't particularly want to. Uh, have to restart it or anything because um, got a bit of damage on the old vehicle. I'm gonna get these two down here. Oh, nearly three minutes there. So now I'll get this one. I'll get the furthest ones away. It's an ambulance, love. <laughs> So on. Okay. Again, please tell me I've not killed another one. Jesus, why would you bloody run into me like that? I had to figure out which way to turn. <laughs> I was like... Okay, we're going to turn this way now. So we're at level 11. Not many levels left to go. One more after this one. Also, what I would do as well, every time you do one of these activities and you complete it, save your game. 
do a manual save somewhere in a house nearby or whatever even if you've not bought the place and you've not got anywhere, anywhere else nearby just buy it and uh, just so that you don't have to do this again if you're like at a like a trophy hunter like me or an achievement hunter then you, you, you want to get these things done as quickly as possible And that's what I'll be doing, getting them done as soon as possible. Good for you. What do we start? I think we started on about eighty six thousand. I think it was eighty six thousand. You can cut through here. A little shortcut, but it, it just I, I I wouldn't do it in the rain though. That's the whole thing because you can't lose control, even in the old games. I still like when you're breaking even on grass. It sounds like you're still breaking on a road, even though you're on grass. Like the sound is exactly the same. But it doesn't matter what um, ground you're on, the brake sound or the skid sound is always the same. Grass, path, sand. So this is the last level. So once we complete this level, not only will we get the paramedic trophy, which is a silver. But um, we'll get max health and 5,000 bonus. So, right, we'll go for these. Right, I'm gonna do them two together over there. The two that are like literally on the outside, I'm gonna do them together. Mm, and then I'll do this one here. So I can't remember what the trophy's called. I know it's a silver. You get a tro you get is you get a silver trophy per emergency service when you do so the fire trucks like rescue a kitten to um paramedic something else and then you get one for vigilante as well which I can't actually remember what it is okay we're still not smoking yet which is which I'm surprised at thought we'll be doing okay maybe there is a slight different sound But sometimes it does. It does sound like uh, you break your skin on uh, sound back as you would do normally. Move your shit out of my way. Shut up! So, so all three are on this uh, this this side now. And we're all on the same side of the road as well, which is fine. Last one. So bear in mind that as long as we don't flip the car over and blows ourselves up into flames, as a nice little quote from Ryder, we should be fine. I 
And there we go. Saviour. That's the trophy. It's called Saviour. And there we go. So we got seven grand for that and the five grand bonus. So I think we're starting around 80, 86,000. Oh, it might have been less than that. It might have been 76,000. Anyway, we've made 30, 40 grand doing that mission. We've got max health and we've got um, we've got the $5,000 bonus. We've got the trophy saviour. And, um, and then we've done another part of the 100% guide. Right, so that is what we're going to leave for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.